Hello and welcome to another video. This one is a little bit different. Uh, so I get the question pretty often on stream, which is what aliases to use and why don't you use ZSH and why don't you use X and Y tool or whatever. Um, so I figured I would clear up some of that in a little bit of an FAQ video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about why I do that. And then we're going to go into the actual aliases I have because some of them are kind of fun anyway. Uh, but anyway, let's... Uh, I'm doesn't matter what screen we're going to be on because I'm going to be talking for a while. Um, so the, the the first part of the question, which is why don't I do all of these other tools? So I guess I just to clear up first, I don't have very many aliases. Um, I have very few get aliases. I have very few bash aliases. And um, I also use bash instead of other shells. Uh, and I don't customize it very much. I think the, the main customizations I've made are around history handling and my PS1 is slightly different so that, you know, the, the command is on its own line. Um, and I really only did that because it's easier to read it when you're watching me on stream. So I, I did that purely for, for Twitch chat. Um, but the reason that I don't have many aliases is I spend a lot of time in education. So teaching people about how to work on code. I also spend a lot of time streaming. And if you've ever watched my, one of my streams, <laughs> it can be often pretty difficult to follow what I'm doing because I'm already doing a lot of stuff at the same time. Um, and so I try and avoid things like aliases, foregrounding and backgrounding, you know, specialized tools and other stuff like that uh, because it's one, a lot harder to follow what I'm doing, uh, but two, it makes it more difficult for others to replicate what I am showing on the screen. So if you were to try and you know, do any of my videos and I had, you know, special aliases for stuff. Uh, like imagine if I did the common alias get status to GS. Uh, when I type GS on my terminal and you type GS on your terminal and you got command not found, you'd be like, what, what is this crappy tutorial? It doesn't work. It's broken. Uh, so I tend to stick to very, very vanilla tooling for all of that sort of stuff. Um, the other part is I also work in developer experience. So I spend a lot of time helping other developers with their tools. And this means that I spend a lot of time working on other people's computers. And so on their computers, they're not gonna have my set of aliases set up and they might not have my tools set up. And so I'm gonna be in a foreign environment and I need to easily be able to adjust to working on their computer without having to you know, lean on my aliases and such. Um, and I guess, uh, the last part is I type fast enough that it doesn't save me much time. So <laughs> I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty fast typist as, uh, as you know, if you join the streams, you'll see type racer fly by every once in a while. I'm pretty, pretty speedy at that. Um, but anyway, with all that, let's jump in and show you what my aliases are and what my, uh, get aliases are. So I'm going to open those both up. It's not very long, so we'll be able to go over every single one of them. Um, git config. We'll start with git config first, since it's the easiest to go through. Uh, I have three aliases here. <laughs> Two of them are typos, and one of them is git equals bang git. I actually did a video on this. I don't know if I'll remember to link it, but I'll try and link it in the description. Um, this makes it so I can type, you know, uh, let me get into a get repository. I can type git 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 status because uh, sometimes I'll type git forget what I'm doing and then I'll type git status so instead of you know instead of git git status being an error it makes it just work uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, Kevin Stroberg actually showed me that. Yeah but that's that's all of my aliases for git. Not really all that much just you know this. Um, if we go over to my bash aliases, you'll notice that I have only one shortcut alias. And unfortunately, this is this is actually exactly what I was talking about earlier, where um, in an education perspective, using aliases can hurt your consumers in the long term. Um, I was taught Terraform at work, and at work, Terraform was the TF executable. There, was, there wasn't a Terraform binary, it was just called TF. And so, I learned Terraform as TF, unfortunately, and that's how I developed my muscle memory in typing out uh, what, what Terraform is. So I, I unfortunately have that one alias for shorthand, uh, but that's basically the only, the only shorthand alias you'll see me use. 
As for the other aliases, I have these to enable color by default in these two. Um, I also enable line buffered and grep. I haven't done a video on this yet, but I will be making one soon. So, you know, follow the channel and you'll eventually get that video. Uh, I have a bunch for, well, typos. <laughs> so my text editor uh, originally started as a alias that was a typo from Babby to Nano, um, but then my, my text editor, that's why, that's why I named it Babby. Uh, but now I haven't unlearned typing Nano, so I still, you'll see, I probably did it here. Yeah, you can see I still type Nano even though it's my text editor. Um, <laughs> and that's because, you know, Nano is an alias to Babby. Um, but I also have, you know, I don't want to use a reverse Polish notation calculator, so I have alias DC to CD. I typo grep a lot. Uh, for some reason, whenever my brain goes to type chmod plus x, I typed chmox, so I've aliased that. Um, this is a an, yeah, kind of unrelated tool. So AWS by default uh, does not really support help all that much. So if I do like AWS DynamoDB help, you'll see that it just is like, I don't know what you meant. You should have written help like this. Um, and I used a backslash here to bypass the alias. So I wrote a tool called AWS help and uh, actually let me open that up. AWS help. Okay, here we go. So I wrote a tool which, you know, if you run it with dash dash help, uh, so these are the two bad outputs, but if you run, you know, AWS DynamoDB help with dash dash help, my little alias wrapper thing will just do the right thing. So it makes the AWS CLI not bad <laughs> for help. And this, oh man, the number of hours I've lost to, did you mean help uh, from the output? And, you know, I just hand waved and solved this problem, so. Anyway, that's what this is. Uh, the last two are kind of just like joke aliases. So occasionally, you know, I'll be doing some computery stuff and something weird will happen. So I'll type WTF and you'll end up, you know, with WTF and D. And you can be like, WTF match statement. And I'll be like, WTF indeed match statement. Um, just to be funny. Um, and the last one is a, a cry command, which just prints a sad face. There's a lot of shell escaping here because it turns out doing this alias properly is difficult because I also wanted cry dash dash softly uh, to work properly. And in order to do that, you need to ignore arguments. So I had to wrap it in a subshell and in order to wrap it into a subshell, I needed to have a command with quoting and with quoting and double quoting. Anyway, it expands out quite a lot from that, but that's that's what this expands to. It's just sh dash c echo sad face uh, with a little tear. But anyway, that's, that's all of my aliases, that's it. Um, yeah. Anyway, hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, ask questions, and I will answer them. Um, but yeah, thank you. Have a good one.